do. In today's video, this is number four of five, where I'm joined by my wife's team because they wanted to do a team building event. For some reason, they wanted to be in my video, so I said, come on over. We spent all day recording videos, and this one, we make cheesy stuffed meatballs. These are outstanding. Inside my, the meatballs, I use a Vermont aged cheddar and a mozzarella, but you can use really any kind of cheese that you want. They were great. We loved them. We used the Parmesan Pomodoro from the last video to put over top of these meatballs, but I also put them on a bed of creamy polenta. That combination of flavors and textures, outstanding. You're gonna to wanna to make this dish, so let's get started. Let's review the ingredients for our cheese stuffed meatballs. So in this video, I'm gonna be joined by Amanda One and Megan, right, Megan? Yep. Ah, see? I can remember the Amanda. Like I said, there's two Amandas here. I got a 50-50 shot of getting that one right. We have one pound of lamb, one pound of 85-15 ground beef, a half a pound of mild Italian sausage. Then we've got about a half a pound of, um, it's a Vermont aged cheddar, mm. a half a pound of mozzarella. Those we're gonna cube up and those are gonna be in the center of our cheese stuffed meatball. We're gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese, probably about a half a cup two eggs to be one of our binding agents. The other binding agent, we're gonna use about a quarter cup of Chianti. I always put Chianti in my meatballs and it really adds something to the flavor. One cup of Italian, uh, Italian seasoned breadcrumbs, one teaspoon, give or take, of parsley, and two teaspoons of oregano. We're gonna use about a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes and get about a quarter cup of our Chianti. So what we're gonna start with is Megan, you're gonna be the one that's gonna mix all that stuff up for us. An egg trying to run away. Go ahead and just break it. It's an, there you go. Egg roll. <laughs> we, we, I do Italian cuisine, not uh, not <laughs> Japanese. Japanese. <laughs> just go ahead and just break these into little chunks, uh, and yeah, so that way it makes it a little easier to mix up. One a real important thing with with meatballs is not to overmix the meat. So we're going to go ahead and start by breaking those up in little pieces. When we come back, we'll work on prep for a couple of our other items, and I've got to wash my hands. So I have Megan, she's breaking our meat up in just little pieces. That way we don't have to work the meat so much. So now what Amanda's gonna do for us, we wanna cut these into about half inch cubes, probably about like that. And then we're gonna go about like that. That's gonna be about the perfect size for us. Okay. So this is mozzarella and Vermont aged cheddar. So go ahead and just go ahead and start doing that for us. Okay. Megan, if you want, you can kind of just sprinkle those breadcrumbs across the, uh, the ground meat for us. And both of our seasonings. Again, this is one teaspoon of parsley and two teaspoons of oregano. So you just go ahead and sprinkle those on for us as well. And we're going to do about a half a teaspoon of our red pepper flakes. Go ahead and steal this from me and I'll go ahead. This is about an eyeball half teaspoon. Again, I don't like to measure a lot, so we'll go with that. Now, another thing I'm going to do is we're going to go with about a half a cup of our, um, our Parmesan. So let me break away real quick. We're going to move a few things, give Megan a chance to wash her hands while Amanda, number one, works on our cheese cubes. <laughs> Amanda's continuing to uh, cube up our cheese. This is about the right size because the meat's gonna go all around it, gonna completely envelop this cube, so that's perfect. Megan's got everything just about ready. So Megan, what I want you to do is crack those two eggs, put them right in there. The eggs are gonna be a nice binding agent, but the eggs themselves aren't gonna provide enough liquid because we've got a cup of breadcrumbs and that's gonna soak up a lot of that liquid. So what we're gonna do is eyeball about a quarter of a cup of Chianti in there. Just whatever you think. That's pretty good, a little bit more, just a tiny little bit more. All right, so now what I want you to do is kind of work that all together. Let me move this out of the shot real quick. There you go. You don't wanna, the most important thing with meatballs is not to overwork it. You just wanna barely get the meat combined, get everything together and then stop. If you overwork it, then you, you're gonna end up with a tough meatball. We have about three different things on the stove over here. The house smells absolutely incredible. That you're doing real good. Just kind of keep 
really try to get those. You're making me crumbs. nervous, and I'm gonna over. I'll tell you. I'll tell you if you're gonna overwork it. So. Just well, threaten, threaten should, her. Threaten her with a knife. I cut my nails for this. You, you <laughs> <laughs> I shake my legs for this. <laughs> Channel uh, your inner Italian grandmother. What we're going to do while Except we're Except for German and Irish. <laughs> Amanda, what I want you to do, we the need about a room. quarter cup of Parmesan. Now, this is real Parmesan Reggiano. Okay. That is 18 months aged. Okay. I always put it on a plate. Here, let's do this because for some reason, it, it that cheese is very crumbly. And you'll see it just makes an absolute mess. So we want about a quarter cup of Parmesan. That's good for right now because we need to add the Parmesan. Go ahead and give me real quick on that Parmesan. So we've got about a quarter <laughs> cup of cheese. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's perfect. Good? Yes, ma'am. Let's go ahead. That's what Giada does. There we go. That, that's what Giada does. <laughs> Should we freeze right. it against just it? Just go ahead and dump that right in. If you can right. work that cheese right in there, okay. that's going to be perfect. Go ahead. We don't want to waste oh, that. Just dump that in there as well. <laughs> a lot of snickering off camera. <laughs> My wife's taking pictures and posting them to social media. So we're just going to get that worked in. Now, what I'm going to do, we're going to break away real quick. Megan's not going to wash her hands because she's going to keep doing what she's doing here for us. Uh, I'm going to turn my sauce down. we got a sauce going here that we're going to use to uh, what we're doing with these meatballs. You're going to see at the end, we're going to, we're going to put down a bed of creamy polenta with a meatball on the on the polenta, and then we're going to, we've got a Parmesan pomodoro sauce that we're going to drizzle over. It's going to be absolutely incredible. That's perfect. Don't overwork that, but um, go ahead and wash your hands. Because we're Keep next step, what we're going to do is we're going to get this ready and put it in the oven. Now we have to prep our meatballs. What we need to do is you want to make sure your meatballs are all the same size. We need about a quarter cup of meat for each of our meatballs. I always use an ice cream scoop. What we're going to do is you're just going to eyeball it. That's about the, the size we want. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the cheese cubes, push it down in the center, and just kind of close it up, kind of pinch it a little bit. Don't overwork it, don't push on it, just kind of get it round, and then put it on the parchment. So I'm gonna let Megan and Amanda number one get all of our meatballs ready. If I don't care how you guys wanna break it up, that's perfect, go ahead and... Okay. You can go ahead and hand that to Amanda. It doesn't matter. We've got uh, Vermont aged cheddar and just a regular old part skim mozzarella. Perfect. Yeah, and then just kind of roll it. To, and you'll see they're all going to be about the same size. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees while you're doing this. This is a long, boring step. I could, you know, record this entire piece while they're making it. Make you guys talk because so, you're being way too quiet and I know you're chattier and this will work. <laughs> You've got to be chattier and this will work. So have you guys ever made meatballs? No, we're dead quiet. You're, you're oh, not... yeah. I, I, use, I do sometimes. But, really? Yeah, but not like this. I only use ground beef. Yeah, I, I like to use, this is ground lamb, ground beef, um, and uh, Italian sausage. I've even made it with, a lot of times I'll use bison or ground veal. Mm. That might be just a little bit too much meat. You see here, our, our meatballs are creeping up in size. <laughs> we, wanna, we wanna get them all about the same size. So go ahead and knock off a little bit of that meat there. That one good? Yeah, so as long as, as long as they're all the same size, that's the important thing, because that way they'll all get done at the same time. We've got a lot of, we got two and a half pounds of meat. This is about two pounds of cheese, so we've got a lot of meatballs to make. This reminds me of stuffed Pinch, hamburgers, if you ever... Yeah, that, one's, a little, little that one's a little big. Stuffed hamburgers. Tell me about stuffed hamburgers. Well, I've never made them, and I've eaten them, and they're really delicious. <laughs> so yeah. what's in a stuffed hamburger? Just cheese? Well, anything. Yeah, you can put cheese. You can put a pineapple. Pineapple? Pineapple. Not, yeah. What kind of That's hamburgers weird. you eat? Like a pineapple ring. Pineapple ring? Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I've never put had cheese. that. cheese. That sounds really weird, that, that, to be honest. That, <laughs> it's like the Bonsai Burger. The Bonsai Burger? I've never heard of that. I'll have to try one of those. It's at Red Robin. It's what? It's at Red Robin. <laughs> There's no yeah. plugs for Red Robin here. Yeah, there, uh, we do not endorse Red Robin. Who are they paying us for, for uh, using their name here in this right. video? You can edit it. We're going to go ahead and finish this up. Uh, and when we when we got all of our meatballs ready to go in the oven, we'll be back. So the drunks off camera can't stop laughing long <laughs> enough for us to uh, get started here in the next step. Our meatballs are all ready. You can see we've got them pretty much the same size. There, there's a few, uh, you know, little pathetic ones in here, but that's going to be all right. Now the next step, what we're going to do, we, I've got some olive oil in our bowls here with a brush. We're just going to very lightly 
Brush each meatball with olive oil. Do you know why we're doing this? No. To help them brown? To have them what? Have them brown? Bingo. Nice. By putting the olive oil over top of them, it's going to ensure that they get consistently brown all over the top, um, that, which is really what you want to happen. What happen that'll make a crust, and it holds in all that moisture, all that flavor, keeps the cheese in there as well. This is going to bake at 400 degrees. We're going to let these go for 25 minutes because we've got a few oddball, massive meatballs in there. We want to make sure that those get done all the way. I, I left the cameras going just to catch a few comments from the peanut gallery. One of them said, you know, I've been waiting to eat and the pregnant one, of course, that's the <laughs> one that's waiting to eat. And we've been cooking a lot. You know, we've, they've dug into a lot of the, the, we've got a cheese tray and a meat tray and someone bought vegetables that only two people have eaten. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and Megan, you brought the vegetables, right? Yeah, I, it was our healthy component okay, of there, this meal. There's a joke by my wife said, hey, Megan's going to bring a veggie tray. I'm like, well, great. Tell her she can take it home with her because no one's going to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are doing a good job. We're almost done. Don't be too neat. Just okay. splash it on there. Hey, look at that. Last one's ready. All right, this is going to go again. It's 400 degrees. We're going to let these go for 25 minutes. When we come back, we're going to pull these out. They're going to look great. And we can go ahead and get these plated up. Um, but again, 400 degrees, 25 minutes. You guys did a great job. The gals are taking a break, and I'm going to grab the meatballs. The meatballs are just, just finished. I just checked on them. Let me grab them real quick. These smell absolutely incredible. Now, some of the cheese has oozed out of a few of them. That's fine. These are going to be good. Okay. We're going to let these rest for five minutes, and then we're going to get these plated up. You're going to see we're going to plate these up. The way I'm going to plate these up is going to be absolutely incredible. Emily's going to help me finish the polenta. Now, this is a creamy polenta. If you check one of my earlier episodes, you can see my standard polenta. Now that it's done, we have to kind of finish this. We're one step away from trying these meatballs. So if you can help me out here, Ebony, I'm going to throw some butter in here. We're going to use about, this is about two and a half, three tablespoons of butter. Just go ahead and mix that all in there. We're going to melt that in. That adds a little fat. Now, do you know what a uh, polenta is? Polenta is essentially <laughs> Italian grits. It's cornmeal. <laughs> it's, it's a yellow cornmeal. Like southern grits are made out of a white cornmeal. Okay. Uh, Italian grits are made out of Italian grits. Italian polenta is made out of a yellow cornmeal. So what I'm gonna do here is just add some Parmesan cheese, a little bit of salty goodness mm. right in there. Amazing. Does smell good, doesn't yes. it? This is, this is one of, and this is really, this is healthy. It's got three cups Amazing. of heavy cream, three cups of whole milk, a little bit of butter and cornmeal. So, you know, it's, it's, it's like two Weight Watcher points if you smell it. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is ready to plate up. So we're gonna break away for just a second, get a few more folks in the next shot, and we're gonna give this a try. All right, so what we're gonna do to, to plate this up, I have Amanda, Megan, and Amanda. Megan, right? Yes. See? <laughs> I think I'm getting yeah, on her I'm nerves. She's, she's getting a little, the drunker she gets, the more annoyed she gets. So what we do is we're, we take a little bit of polenta. We're gonna go with two meatballs here. You can see this is gonna be incredible. All right, and then we'll take a little bit of our sauce. This is our Parmesan Pomodoro sauce, which you can check out in the last episode. Just kind of smother it in there. Mm. All right, Amanda number two. This is yours. She's like, she, she's she's got the first plate. She didn't help make it. Well, no, you, made, you helped I made in the, the sauce. sauce. I did. I helped. All right. All right. You're going to have wait. to forgive me for the, the this messy plate, so... All right, two meatballs. It's like prepper thing where I have to wait till everybody else gets there. No, you don't. No, no you don't. Cook. All right, you got a little bit of the. You got some extra cheese on yours. <laughs> oh a little bit of sauce. Okay. There you go. Here's your fork. If I don't drop Thank it. You. And Amanda so number right one. <laughs> Polenta. Meatball. That's amazing. Two meatballs. Oh my gosh. And it's the so Parmesan good. Pomodoro. It's so good. There you go. All right, what do you think? How do we do? A plate heaven. of heaven. Yeah. A plate of heaven. I don't so even did, know. So we didn't we didn't it. bake out all the cheese. Did we still mm -hmm. the cheese in that meatball? Yeah, Perfect. and it keeps it nice and it's not dry at all. It's good. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Amanda? One. It's pretty delicious. <laughs> the it's so creamy. This sauce Everything. is so good. 
Yeah, the, the sauce is, I, that sauce turned out incredible. Yeah. The polenta, if you've never had polenta for, before, just kind of think of it as the, they use it kind of like mashed potatoes. The Italians use it as, mm -hmm. as, a, as a replacement, really, for mm -hmm. mashed potatoes. This polenta is absolutely incredible. It's not an instant polenta. This is real creamy polenta. Check out an earlier episode. So, you, ladies, things are good. I oh, haven't yeah. had any. I want to play. I'm barely in the shot here. Let me sneak in a little bit more. Um, thank you so much for watching POV Italian Cooking. You can check out this and other episodes on YouTube at any time. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ring the bell. Check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google Plus, and Tumblr. Just search for POV Italian and either like, subscribe, follow, whatever the heck you got to do to keep in touch with me. Send me an email, povitaliancooking.com. And uh, if you've got any questions or if you've got a, su a suggestion for a dish for a future episode, ladies, you have a good time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, yeah, we have one you. more dish we have to try here in just a little bit. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do that, and then we'll uh, serve a few folks up and send you home. <laughs> All right. Thanks for yeah. watching.